has learned today that the relationship between Omar Mateen and an American suicide bomber was much deeper than previously understood by federal investigators. And the bomber's return to Florida in 2013 is under fresh scrutiny. Here's what the FBI director told us yesterday about what they knew about the two men two years ago. We learned from the investigation that the killer knew him casually from attending the same mosque in that area of Florida. But our investigation turned up no ties of any consequence between the two of them. Mateen's name surfaced in the FBI investigation of a Palestinian-American, Monar Abu Salah, who in July of 2014 blew himself up in Syria on behalf of al-Qaeda, becoming the first American to do so in Syria. Now remember, in the 911 calls from the club, Mateen pledged allegiance to ISIS, the Boston Marathon bombers, and his friend, this man, the American suicide bomber Salah. They went to the same eastern Florida mosque. The FBI closed this file because the Obama administration treats radical Islamic threats as common crimes. I'm not trying to solve a crime, I'm trying to prevent an attack. And if we'd kept the file open and we saw what he was up to, I think we could have stopped it. The FBI Director James Comey told us yesterday they did a full investigation of Mateen, but they found no evidence he had committed a crime or that he was providing material support for terrorism. And that is the legal threshold that they operate under Bill.